cats. I want to present a new book that I'm working with. It's actually a book that's been around since 2011, but it's fairly new to me. I started working on it and then kind of put it down for a while, but it's the Bipolar Disorder Survival Guide, What You and Your Family Need to Know um, by David J. Miklovich, PhD. All right. Recognize warning signs of mania or depression. So mania is present in bipolar one. Hypomania is present in bipolar 1, but also in bipolar 2. Find the right medication and therapy. Okay, prevent mood swings from ruling your life, right? Stay on track at home and at work. So those are just a few of the subjects that are covered in here. Now, you'll find uh, what to expect during the hospitalization, some of the myths that surround being in the psychiatric hospital, especially when it's your first time, you don't know when to you don't know what to expect. Um, differentiating between when something is just you, your personality, how you are, and uh, maybe the warning signs of an episode, or you know those times when your family and friends are like, um, you seem a little bit happy, sad, angry, whatever. Have you been taking your meds? Are you becoming manic? Are you, you know, going into a depression? Um, so some of, some of these exercises are, you can do right now. You can actually make a list and put down qualities that you associate with yourself, how you are, how you've always been, maybe your values, some of the things even that you might not like about yourself and want to work on versus some of the symptoms that you develop when you are about to go into an episode based on your experiences. So... Um, I was diagnosed bipolar 1 back in the mid-90s when it was still called, for the most part, manic depression, when uh, NAMI was still calling DBSA, which is the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance, the MD, manic depressive, um, and depressive MD, MDA, I think it was, yeah. So um, things have we didn't have the whole scale. I guess they did. You know, they told me once that I was a 1.5. This doctor said um, that I was more of a bipolar 1.5. I thought he was making it up, but it turns out that there is such a thing. So, yeah, they had the concept of bipolar 1 and 2 back then, but it wasn't really something that anyone knew very much about. Now it seems like everyone and their cousin has some place on the bipolar spectrum. I will come back to that soon. Okay.